Oil is leaking from an oil tanker at the rate of 3,000 gallons per day. At this rate, the radius of the circular slick of oil is increasing at the rate of 3 miles per day. Part A. Create a function called it R of T that models the radius of the circular slick of oil at a time T days after the beginning of the leak and find an expression for R of T. Okay, so this question is asking you for the function R of T and T is the time in days, right? In the time in days after um, the leaking. And uh, we know that the R of T it models the radius of the circular slicks of oil at a time t. So this is the radius, okay? So go back to the statement of the problem. It says uh, right here, at this rate, the radius of the circular slicks of the oil is increasing at the rate of three miles per day. So every single day, it is increasing by three more miles. So we have the same rate of change from this day to the next day, right? So this is a linear function. And therefore, number three is the slope, right? The slope. If you really think about the, um, uh, the formula y equals mx plus b, right? The slope intercept form. In this case, the y is your r of t, and the slope is just the m, and the x is just t in this case, and the y intercept uh, this should be zero because uh, in the beginning there was no leaking, so it should be zero, right? And then you just have R of t equal m of t. And the slope now is just 3t because it is uh, the rate of change is 3 miles per day. So that's why the answer is 3 times t. Part B, the area of the circle is is given by the formula. So this is the formula for any circle, a equal pi r square. And they want you to create a function, call it a of t, that models the area of the oil slick at the time t, and, and find the expression for a of r of t. Okay, so we, we know that the area a equal pi r square, but now they want you to find the um, the area, and given the fact that uh, we have the input of r of t, so the input is the function of r, and we got the function of r up here, that is 3t, right, 3t. And uh, now, from your original equation, this is the radius when uh, you can you can rewrite this one as a of r right equal pi r square. So this is your old input, okay? Now we have the new input three t, three t. So three t will go to the place of r. So that will be three t, and then keep the square outside. And this is just a, a composition of function a and, and and r of t right? r of t is just the inside function. And that's why you get 3 square, right? 3 square and t square or 9 pi t square, which is the answer right here. So that's the area uh, that is written in terms of the, um, the t, right? The t, not the r. Okay, next problem. To the nearest whole number, what will the area of the oil slick three days after the beginning of the leak? Okay, so they give you the timing three days, and I, I, I know from the problem, t is, t is the time um, in days, right? So three days mean the value should be t equal, t equal three. So that is t equal three. Okay, what is the area? What is the value of a when t equal three? We know that from the... Um, um, the formula we got from from the last part B, a of t equal 9 pi t square. Now t is 3, so I plug in the 3, so I get 
3 square and that will be uh, this is 9, 9 times 9 is 81, 81 pi and if you use the uh, calculator, right, 81 pi and 81 multiplied to pi and that will give me 254 uh, square mile, okay that is the answer right here. Okay, last question. If it costs seven million to clean the oil from each square mile of the ocean, what is the cost of this spill three days after the beginning of the leak? Answer in millions of dollars using your routic answer from Park C in your calculation. So yeah, now you know that it is seven million dollar to clean each square mile. We have two fifty four square mile, and each of the square mile will cost you seven million. So that will give you uh, two fifty four multiplied to seven million dollar for each square. So that will be one seven seven eight million. Okay. So the answer is in million, million of dollars. That's why you don't have to multiply by uh, the six zeros here. Just multiply by seven because the answer is written in millions of dollars. So one, seven, seven, eight millions. And that is how you answer this question.